click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome to this course. So let us learn about boundary value problems. In the previous lecture, we learned about initial value problems. That is the problems that deal with time. So let's learn about boundary value problems. So these problems deal with space. So let us take some example. So let us take some famous example. So in case of 2D, the equation looks like this. Dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to zero. So in the case of 3D, one more term will be in addition that is dou square u by dou z square. Fine. So if you observe this equation, there is no time parameter. So it's only space that is x and y. Okay, fine. So what I want to say is, what is the name? First, let's see the nature of the equation. So do you know what is this equation? Is it ODE or PDE? What is this? Second order or third order? Can you comment about it? So this is a second order. So how many conditions we need here? That is a very important thing. So how many boundary conditions we need to solve this problem? Any idea? So here we are having two variables, x and y, in which x is of second order as well as y is also of second order. So to solve a Laplace equation in 2D completely, we need four boundary conditions. We need four boundary conditions. So is this domain is closed or open? So I told you that the domain in the case of initial value problem, it is a open domain. So what is the domain here? It is a completely closed domain. That is, if I want to solve this equation over some square. So let us say my domain is a square. And this is my x direction and this is my y direction. If I want to solve my Laplace equation in this domain, bell square u is equal to zero in this domain, I need two x conditions, two y conditions. So I need a boundary condition at x is equal to zero and let us say this is b, b, the dimensions of the square, okay? So I need boundary conditions u of zero comma y, and u of b comma y as well as u of x comma 0 and u of x comma b. So I need to define my value at all these four positions. Only then I can solve my Laplace equation. So this is a closed domain. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Akeda. Subscribe to Akeda.